Guys, I think I'm in trouble. I woke up this morning from a dream, and nothing seemed quite right to me. For a while, I imagined I lived in a tiny house with my wife and dog, but that... I don't think that's right. I don't think that's correct. I've always lived in a giant house with seven other people, right? Including my mom? I got out of bed and went about my usual day. I went out for a run. I ate breakfast with my friends. I cooked. Oh, swag. I went swimming. I washed my hands five times in a row. You know, normal every single day events. Something's bothering me though. No, no, no. It's it's not that one of my friends plugged the toilet again with their unconscionably fatty diets. No, no, no. It's, it's not because my book writing is going really well and I've been able to focus on my magnum opus. The ideas are coming along well and I feel like they're just going to sell like hotcakes when I've finished writing. I've got an undefinable dread. I can't put my finger on it, but there's just something wrong with my life. I need to figure out what it is, otherwise I just won't be able to live properly. It just sits there, in the back of my brain, like a tumour waiting to burn my consciousness. But how can I figure out what's wrong if it's just a feeling that I have no words for? Nothing seems real. I feel like I might be dreaming. I feel like I'm on the verge of unspooling. No, no, deep breath. Take a moment. Just, let's, let's just doubt for a moment. I've got to figure out what I can be certain of, and then I'll be able to figure out what's wrong. Okay, how do I do that? Where do I start? I've got to doubt the obvious things. What people tell me, what I've learned from others, what I hear from social media, what I hear from television. That's, that's easy. Everyone knows to do that. My problem isn't paranoia about people and their words, though. Okay, so that's not it. I'm having dreams, though, that feel so real that I can't tell them apart from actual reality. Even if it wasn't a dream, and I was certain through the clarity of my senses, having perfect sight, exquisite taste, that doesn't mean I can trust my senses, though. There are times where I'm sick, there are times where I need to wear glasses. Other people wear glasses, so sight isn't reliable. What if God is putting these thoughts in my head? Telling me things that are here than are not. God is... deceiving me and letting me know things that aren't true. But how could I even know if there was a God in the first place? I have to doubt that as well, it's just a belief. There's one last possibility and I, I might freak out. What if there was a deceiver out there? An almighty all-knowing, all-powerful demon who puts these thoughts from me with the express intent of malice and cruelty. The demon could be fooling my senses. My hearing, my sight, my taste, everything I learn from the world from these senses. That my friends and family are even here. Oh no, it's, it's, it's worse than that. If the demon is deceiving me, then it's not just my senses that I have to doubt, it's, it's my thoughts themselves. What's the difference between an idea that I have and an idea that someone else has put into my head? Wouldn't that feel the same to me no matter what? Am I even having these thoughts if someone else is putting them into me? Oh no, 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 no. Am I even here? Am I even real? I'm, I might be freaking out. Wait, 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 I might have a way out of this. Maybe, 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 maybe. If something like an evil demon is putting these thoughts into me, then I must be here in some fashion. My body might not be what it appears to be. My friends might not be real. My book might be absolute trash, but... Even if my thoughts aren't my own, I must be here. I am thinking, however feebly, so therefore, I exist. My existence might be short, it might be rudimentary, it might be ugly, 
less than what I think it is, really. I don't know. I can't know. I haven't established what else I can trust yet. But I can't doubt that I am in fact here. That I am real. And there's a comforting thought.